Hey everybody, 3XL Dave here. Welcome back to Let's Play Civ 4 Beyond the Sword, one, Earth 1000 AD scenario. So we're about to get refrigeration. <clears throat> and we already got the uh, circumnavigation bonus. So that will greatly help our navy. Our ships will be able to move around fast. I think I'm going to train a few more musket men in our various cities here. Oh, and also a settler someplace. So I think I want to have a few musket men around for defense. Um, let's see. Let's do a settler in Berlin also. And let's go ahead and settle someplace over here. Oh, well, I see Arabia has settle the city there <clears throat> but we will settle a city over here in Iberia um, I'd kinda like to get a river spot there but coast is also good hmm, there's already a village there hmm. I guess we could settle on this hill right here <clears throat> so I think we'll do that. Okay, you're fine right there. Actually, instead of uh, another knight, I will do a musket man. And you're fine. Okay, refrigeration in one turn. And conquering Chichen Itza on the next turn. Tell me what you eat, and I will tell you what you are. Okay, now. Should we do the National Park here? Um, I think I'm going to build it in one of our three cultural centers. So, just a musket man there. Let's see. So... Culture. York is number three, and we're working on Broadway there. I guess maybe in Bristol. Just go ahead and build the National Park there. Okay, Chichen Itza. Boom. Hours. So, <clears throat> let's just leave the Wounded Knight there. Take all these knights <clears throat> up here to Kolomoki. Um, this empty galleon we can send back. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've got um, three longbowmen there. Might be able to snag a worker on the next turn right away. You heal up there. Once we have Kolomoki and Chichen Itza, we may want to build a couple of cities right in here to. Uh, make our territory connected there. We could possibly settle a city here and that would give us a, uh, a Panama Canal type of thing. Okay, these knights are just about there. That's good. Yeah, so they can also unload on the next turn. Right. 
<clears throat> once again, Peter and Saladin keep fighting and want us to get involved. But we don't want to. Okay. Well, I've got nine knights here. I guess I could spare one to grab a worker. Two workers in each of these spots. So let's get two workers right here. Boom. Unload these guys here. And the rest of these knights there also. Okay. Heal. Heal. Missionary. Okay, you're coming around to either Cusco or Tiwanaku or Machu Picchu. <coughs> Tiwanaku, good enough. Barbarian city up there. Okay, let's see, we can get um, 2100 gold from the trade mission. Cool. So, let's see. Kinshi looks like still only has knights. What do, you need? what do I need? I need that 2100 gold. Thank you. Alright, let's check out uh, Kinshi's units here. I'm surprised he doesn't have curaseers or something. Oh, hmm, convert up to two of our own cities to Christianity for 43 gold. I think we'll do that since we are running theocracy. Um, Christianity may have spread by itself to some of our cities that we didn't spread it to. And there may only be Chichen Itza that needs it, but that's worth it. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and do it. <clears throat> so do we have it in all of our cities now? Indeed we do. Good. Yeah, it spread to the Scandinavian cities, for example. By itself, I think. <clears throat> you can stay there for now. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Lamoki is ours, and more workers are also ours, because um, this guy is going to grab that worker, and somebody out of here is going to grab two more. Five workers now in North America. Outstanding. Okay. So, let's have the rest of these knights head up toward Azatlan and see what we're looking at there. Alright, well here is a longbowman. We'd be attacking that guy across the river. Well, okay, looks like we can get him. It'd be easier to kill there than inside the city, so... Here is a place called Apache. There's a masement up there. All right. I guess we don't really need <clears throat> any galleons over here right now. Bring them all back. Musket men and macemen. Hmm. Alright, go to work. Go to work. Mm -hmm. 
enemy infiltrators, eh? Musket man here. <clears throat> Musket man here. One of them is going over to there. You're good. I guess we want you to go north. You go to work. You heal. You heal. You go north. You two go to work. And what are we looking at in Azadlan? A maceman and two longs. Okay, we'll wait until we have the backup there. Knights and musket men. So China is not any tougher than we are at this point. <laughs> Since China has the cultural lead, we will probably have to deal with them eventually. But first, we'll uh, get some colonies going in the Americas. Supermarket, good for health. Courthouse there is fine. Okay, this guy. Um, just leave you here for the moment. Same with you. You're good. You're fine. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So, okay. Seven against three should be all right. Boom. Azadlan is ours. Okay, now I think we want a couple of settlers to bring over to North America. So, I guess settling two cities in this area here, at least two, would be good. Just so that our territory there can all be connected. This uh, caravel, I think we're just going to let them explore freely now. Okay, you're good. So, let's get a couple of settlers going. Wherever we have the most hammers. Okay, Marseille. Settler there, and in, not in York, but in Visegrad, okay, Settler there. Musket man here. You want an observatory, eh? I guess that'll be fine. Population 20 million. Fortify. Marseille loves the monarch. Of course they do. Okay, um... Let's see. Let's have whoever needs to heal stay. By the way, you can... Select all, and then you can do Control H, and then it will um, it will group together just the ones who need healed, and then the ones the other ones are still grouped together, so you can you know separate out the wounded ones from the others. So I use that quite often. All right. I think I'll just have. This guy. Oh, you know, what? Well, did we figure out what's going on in India? Let's see. Yeah, we've got a knight down there exploring. Okay. So Saladin, it looks like uh, neither Saladin nor China have really expanded into uh, India. 
Okay, you can explore freely. <laughs> So we're the wealthiest, but that doesn't really mean much of anything. That's just uh, how much gold is in the treasury at any given time. Okay, so he wants us to switch to bureaucracy. <clears throat> He's already pleased with us. Um, it'll be a turn of revolu a turn of anarchy if we do that. Um, I mean, in a way, I'd kind of like to uh, sort of continue sucking up to him for the time being. I don't really want bureaucracy, but... Eh, I'm torn, I'm torn. I think we'll do it. I think we'll go ahead and do it. We can switch back to vassalage later, but um, he will like that, <clears throat> that we that we switched because he asked. So there's land-based oil right there, too. So if I settle a city here-ish, um, I guess it doesn't really need to be on the coast. This is on the coast, and there's river there. And that will get us that oil. So that might be a good spot. Looks like there's a tribal village there too that we can check out. Oh no, there's a barbarian city there. Barbarian City. Well. And there's a longbowman here <clears throat> on his way into that city, I suspect. Alright, HC, guess what? You have a choice of religion now. HC is what I call Wainakapak, because I'm not sure of the pronunciation. So. Got some unhappiness going on in York. So what's your dealio? Oh, somebody's got emancipation. It's probably, uh, it's probably Kinshi. Hmm. Well, we could whip out a supermarket. Put us behind on Broadway, of course, but so be it. Unhappiness and unhealth here. Market. And the settler is going over there. Okay, I think I'll bring a knight out. Actually, if we put another unit here, that'll help with the uh, unhappiness, because we're still doing hereditary rule. Okay, one of you guys. A medic would be fine. Let's send you down here to stay. Magyar, population one. It was probably only recently founded. In fact, it must have only been recently founded because our caravel would have seen the borders over here. And because we have um, one of the options we chose is no city raising. We can't raise it, otherwise I probably would to settle a city over here instead. But we'll have to keep Magyar, which is okay, it's... it won't be a bad city. <clears throat> Let's trade maps. Let's not. 
Only three knights to take on those two. I would rather have four. HC converts to Christianity, as we figured. Okay, that longbowman may attack our uh, knight. If so, we'll have another one here to kill it. Okay, it's gonna run off that way. Courthouse here is fine. Okay, so we finally have a city over here. Let's call it Portugal. Let's go ahead and get rid of that guy. Send you over here. And those three will just wait. There's an explorer in there. Oh, okay. The explorer is with our knights. An Incan explorer. Couple of barbarian warriors there. Okay, we want to send these guys over to America. Here, let's send you with a musket man. And then let's put another musket man on that boat. Okay. Now, of course, this knight should be able to kill that warrior with no problem at all. But if he should fail, then the warrior can capture the city. But we're going for it. Because the odds were so high. <clears throat> and if that happened, we could have recaptured the city. Alright, now, get rid of this guy too. Boom. Okay, now we're going to wait until we have our fifth wounded knight in place. Even though there are only two longbowmen there. And you guys... Okay, so I have to keep Magyar. Fine. So we'll settle a city... Some... I think probably there, because I think I want the river. We've got plenty of coastal cities, and um, rivers are great because levees are great when you get steam power. musket man here. We have another great prophet that we don't really need. Oh, the stock exchange can be built now. Did I see that? No. Oh, I was thinking of Wall Street, yeah. Which you need corporation for. Uh, let's build a castle here just for the culture. I thought we did that, didn't we? I thought we built walls and a castle there earlier, but I guess not. Okay, you can go over there. Okay, Qin Shi and Wang Khan have made peace, and I cannot believe that he didn't do more damage to Wang Khan. Captured uh, one city. <clears throat> so. We can make peace with Wang Khan too, but he probably just gave all his gold to Kinshi. 
so we would get gold per turn out of it maybe, but let's wait a couple of turns and see if he's got some gold to give us, which is a little bit greedy. We don't really need it, but all right. How many longbows? Just two. Should be fine. Oh, what? There we go. There we go. I don't really like it be being called Magyar, though. So, it's pretty close to where Tenochtitlan would have been, right? So, I think we're going to call it Aztec City. Okay, this guy. Once again, hammers and gold. Let's settle you wherever um, wherever the most gold is being generated, which is London. Okay, we'll just settle you there. Okay, another musket man here, I guess. Courthouse here is fine. Fortify. And you sit tight. What is happiness? The feeling that power is growing and that resistance is overcome. So we can build laboratories, which will be cool. The space race victory condition is disabled, so that's not an option, but laboratories will still uh, help us. And um, nobody else can build them, so we just build observatories and then laboratories. Um, okay, so now let's do steel, and we can build dry docks so that the ships that we build will be better. <clears throat> and we should start to build uh, laboratories wherever we all already have uh, observatories, such as in London, build one there. Let's build an observatory in Visegrad. Berlin, an observatory. And in Bristol, when we're done with the National Park, build a laboratory. So also with steel, we can do cannons in case we decide that we're going to finally fight somebody. We've been way peaceful during this game. Okay, so musket man, here's a settler, and we want another musket man as well. We'll just bring the one out from Bristol. And send these guys, let's see, we already sent we're already sending a settler over to here, right? So I'm thinking, oh, you know what? Ooh, what if we were to settle right on this corn? And then we will have a way to get through here. So we'll have a little Panama Canal thing going on. And we'll be um, beside the river too. So let's do that. Okay, and I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this segment here. So, we now have, what, uh, four cities in North America, and we're about to have two more, which is awesome. When we get steel, we'll build dry docks so that we can do frigates. Uh, we can do frigates now, but they'll be, um, they'll be uh, better. They'll be, uh, you know, they'll, they'll be... Um, what uh, they'll have promote uh, a promotion uh, uh, immediately or whatever, 
and same with our um, galleons and so forth. And then with steel we can also build cannons if we want to. And then decide who we want to take out. So, hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.